Cosmos and Kronos. <clears throat> Cosmos and Kronos are two Russian space program projects. Um, 1812, <clears throat> 1812 to 1920 about or so. Um, yeah, uh, uh, starting somewhere around 17 something to about 1812 and then 1920 or so. Ending about, oh, 1975 maybe or 1976 or so about. I don't know, depending. Um, starting in Germany. <clears throat> and then going on to going into into Russia and basically it's all Russian um, uh, with some some Libyan influence and also maybe some Indian influence but basically mostly just Russia and, and Germany what were the two were, were, the, were the two um, were the two ones uh, and and has something to do with uh, with the LSF a a little bit just a little bit anyway um, there's a city a town and basically a space program uh, being launched somewhere around 1850, we had a satellite in space, a space station in space, the old Russian space space station, basically, which was the first space station, which also had a camera, a German camera mounted inside of it, so it could look down, and people would, and they would, and they would change out the people like once every week or once every two weeks or once every month. Basically, Cosmos and Kronos, and and Kronos. Oops, I misspelled that. Not am. It's Cro Kronos, not Chrome Mouse. Kron C N N N. And anyway, Kronos, uh, Russian space project, space program. The first space space program was in Germany and then Russia. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and all around there. Anyway, um, but the missile didn't launch from Russia. The missile launched from Kansas or Kentucky or somewhere else like that, somewhere in America. We actually launched the missile from, it was built over there or something like that, but then one of them was launched in Kentucky or Kansas, one of the later ones. But... Um, but Cosmos and, and Kronos, um, uh, they launched a, a Russian, uh, you know, one of those little bumpy ones with the little things, like like, like the ones they, they launch now. It has kind of like a rounded side and kind of like a narrow thing. It's basically what it is, is there's a tank and then it has little nozzles and then nozzles go up and then down out the back. I mean, out the out the fins, basically. It goes... Anyway, it's all complicated and and and, so, and basically a Russian uh, thing. But basically, it's cause it's it's a Russian space project, uh, Cosmos and Kronos, which which involved basically a space station, a small space station, which was built in Germany, using titanium, whatever. Anyway, one of the very very first ones done somewhere around 1850 or so to 1920 or so. Anyway, and there was a town, Cosmos and Kronos, and there's also also. Um, also, a few other places. Um, uh, also, there is the U.S. town or the United States American town, which was um, which was actually the um, uh, what's it called uh, the, the the towns mostly in in Russia or in Germany or out around in there, and also and, and also there was a Kansas or Kentucky launch site, which is basically this lake, and you know and the, and there's a there's a launch tower and a watchtower all built inside the lake or whatever and a dam. Anyway, it gets all complicated, and you'll have to find out the records. And I've le left more in depth things, but basically, it was pretty much involved the 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 Russian space station, which was actually in orbit around 1950. I mean, 1850 or so. Originally launched somewhere around 1790, maybe uh, 18 18 something, uh, and basically there was a space station in space by 1850 or so and then 1920 and so we've been in space with space station for a very long time a lot longer than than, than people are led to believe and um and we're doing we're doing what's called a back and forth we had a space station up there uh although although the 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 base was actually in chernobyl uh the, and the radio towers were in chernobyl and stuff like that and they could contact and they could communicate with 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 home base like once every day or something like that or every 12 hours or something or six hours so anyway, so yeah, that's what Cosmos and Kronos were, and it's Russian, and there's still a town or whatever. We built the town, we built a bunch of stuff, and now they've basically been left un, uh, dilapidated and, and falling apart. But pretty much they're part of the Russian, the great Russian space program in history. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of lies that, that, that they put about how there were genetic experiments and all that stuff. And there were some nuclear rocket experiments and stuff like that, and there was some contamination problems and stuff like that. But I think we got most of it cleaned up. I'm not sure. If you go to Kronos, just make sure to take a Geiger counter anywhere anywhere in Europe uh, or actually anywhere in general you should always carry a, 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 a Geiger counter with you because you never know uh, if you're going to be walking into a hot spot as they say there's a lot of places that look safe and look normal and then and then you don't know that you're actually picking up there, that there's actually radioactive isotopes all around you or 
you know, in the dirt. And if you had a gig counter, it'd be like, shh, and you go, oh. So basically, if you're going to go anywhere in general, uh, best to pick up one of those $100 Geiger counters so, so you know what's going on around you. So Because there's a lot of places, you know, in Kronos and around the, the, the other place, it looks normal, it looks fine. And then you go there, it's like... It's like, okay, now let's go home. <laughs> We're going to get to go. So anyway, if you travel anywhere, you should always carry a Geiger counter with you. Um, that's the, the, the saying that, that my people always do is we always carry Geiger counters because you never know, you know, you can think that it's a perfectly safe spot and then you go there and it's like... Although, like I said, you can tell with biologicals at all uh, as well. You'll notice that that the grass will droop over, or the plants will seem droopy, and yeah, uh, they'll look droopy yet yet they'll be green, and that's a sign of reactivity, a high, uh, a large amount of reactivity or prolonged re re radioactivity effect. Anyway, um, well, it makes plants droopy and other things droopy. It can kill you and make you sterile. So, um, like I say, best to always carry a gagger counter anywhere you go, anywhere. Especially on Earth and other places. And in spaceships as well. Because you can think, oh, it's perfectly safe. And then you go there, it's like, whoa, okay, no. We better get out of here. Uh, so always carry a gagger counter if, you, if you're going to go if you're gonna go spelunking. Especially if, also if you go down in the deep underground caves. Because, because like I said, in, in a confined space, there's nowhere for the radiation to go. A radio particle will go bung, 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 bung. Uh, People think it goes through everything, and it does, and it doesn't. Some radiation does go through everything, and some radiation just sits there and bounces around inside the cave or whatever. So it's best to always, because it's a particle. It's not like a magical wave. It's a particle. You know, and, and just, just like a particle, when you take a particle and you throw it, and it hits something, it bounces. So, um, so best, to, um, best to always carry a counter counter, because, because it, like, if there's a radioactive source at the end of the hull, that those 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 some of that radiation is going to go boing 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 boing, boing, boing uh, and and then so you'll be getting like lazed with uh with uh, getting a uh particles be being thrown at you anyway um yeah i mean i'm lucifer star your creator and basically the one who ran all these projects and oversaw everything and like i say i love you and i don't want you to die and i don't want you to be hurt by by any of the pro past mistakes of the past and I've been spending my lifetime warning people, kind of, but I mean, basically just, and also funding for people to, to know about the dangers of radiation and why it's really pretty much a bad idea to mess around with it. So anyway, so yeah. And anyway, the cosmos has nothing to do with radiation. though. Nothing, nothing. It's a space program. It was a space program. It's a rocket test site and space program. And they did some uh, uh, radioactive rockets or, so, or, or stuff like that. They messed around with some uh, radiation sources to, to use them as rockets. Anyway, though, because you can just apply a radioactive source and then basically use it, use it like a steam thing, but not very effectively. With a little bit of alcohol, what it is, it's radiation, and then you, you have a radioactive element, I think, and then water, and then also alcohol, and it goes <laughs> out the back, um, and all that stuff, and stuff like that. Anyway, whatever. Um, it doesn't really matter, you know, it's, it's all complicated, but basically, Cosmos is a space program and space project, and also as a town, and also, I believe, probably a ammonium nitrate a building factory. They did a lot of rocket stuff there. Basically, uh, if you're Russian, be proud. Be proud to be Russian, by the way, because you come from a long line of space people. You know, I mean, uh, they did a lot of rocket stuff with Germany. So if you're German, be proud. If you're, if you're Russian, be proud, because um, you, you went to space a lot. And, and you've forgotten more about you forgot You've probably forgotten more about space than most people will ever know, because they were doing space since like 1790 and, and 1850. So, anyway, it was basically, uh, uh, you know, America, or, I mean, the, the, the U.S. Of, 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 of whatever this place is over here in, 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 in America and stuff wanted to basically uh, kill your legacy and, and, and submerge you and make, and make you forgotten. But anyway, but no, you were doing rockets since, since 1812 or 1790 or some great year like that, 16-something, so... Yeah, and had a space station by the time of 1812 or 1850. Uh, Russia had a space uh, a space um, uh, space station. It's a space station. Yeah, it was a space station. And you also had a song and all kinds of other stuff. And it was a town and basically people, you know, it was great. It was, it was a great Russian empire so and German empire. So anyway, yeah, that's Cosmos and Kronos. Uh, two projects. Anyway, yep. So anyway, uh, you can look it up and, and find out more information on it. But there's towns and cities and basically rocket sites. And always carry a gallery counter with you, like I say.